in this video, we're going to find the area of this figure. As you can see, this is not a regular polygon, but we know about the area of a square, which is side times side, and the area of a rectangle, which is length times the width. Okay, so we have to make use of that information, and so we can divide this figure to where we can form a square and a rectangle. Okay, so if I divide from here, so if I cut this part here, oops, to form a square here, so this is two centimeter, two centimeters, so that means this side also is also two and then two. And also cut this part here to form another square. So now we have a square on the left, a square on the right, and a rectangle. And then what we'll do is we'll just find the areas of the two squares and a rectangle, and then we'll add them, right? So we'll find the area of this, this part, the area of this part here, and the area of our rectangle, which is this part, okay? Now let's figure out the new measurements, okay? So if this left side, if the width is six centimeter, and we already cut it to where this part here, this little part would be two centimeters. So from here up to this part is two centimeters. So if that's two, what's the measure of this side? So the original given is six, but we already cut two centimeters. So this would be six minus two, which is four centimeter right and for our rectangle the length doesn't change because we didn't do anything here we didn't cut anything so it will still be eight centimeter okay and this part also is the same so this is two centimeter here this is two cm and this part also is four cm now, let us find the areas of these polygons. Okay. So, what's the area of... Let me change color. Change color of my pen. Okay. So, what is the area of this small square here? This part. It's a square. And we know that the area of a square is side squared or side times side and the side of this square is 2 and so if we get the area it will be 2 centimeter squared so the area of this small square is 4 centimeter squared okay and so if that is 4 since this square here on the right is the same this will also be four centimeter squared okay so now we got the areas of our squares we're going to solve for the area of our big rectangle and we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width and so the length of this rectangle is eight centimeters times the width is only four centimeter right four cm and so the area is eight times four 32 centimeter squared then we can add all this to get the area of the figure so we have four this is four centimeter for the square 4 centimeters squared, so that's 8, 
plus 32 centimeters squared. So the total area of this figure is 4 plus 4 plus 32, 40 centimeter squared. Now let's see area. Another way is if we divide it differently. So suppose we do another way. So let's try. Okay. Now suppose I cut it differently. If I cut it here, will the answer be the same? Let me cut it down here. Okay. So excuse my line, <laughs> but this is supposed to be a straight line. Okay. So we have, so now we have two rectangle and one square. Okay, so let me change color so you can see. Okay, so we have this rectangle here on the left. And the, si uh, the length of this rectangle is 6. This is a 6 by 2. And then the same way here is also 6 by 2. And then we have a square, but let's figure out the measure of our square. Okay, so what is the length or the side of our square? Now, this is 4, right? Let me change this color, color of my pen. Okay, so we know that from here to here, this is 4 cm. And this is also, that means this opposite side here is also 4 cm. Okay? Now, to make sure that this is really a square, we know that this entire thing, entire length of this side is 6. And then we subtracted this little side here. So 6 minus 2. Then we can say... That this is, this side here is also 4 cm, right? So now we have 4 cm, 4 cm, 4 cm. So now this is 4 cm also because it's the opposite of this side here, right? So we have 4 cm, this is also 4 cm. Okay, so now we have two rectangles and one square. And so, if we solve the area of our rectangle first, let me change color again. Okay, so for the area of this rectangle, we know that the area of a rectangle is length times width. Our length is 6 cm. Our width is 2 cm. And that becomes 12 centimeters squared just for this rectangle alone now since they have the same measure on the right we can also say that this is also 12 centimeters squared and for our square what's the area of our square the area of square is side squared side squared or side times side so we have four times 4 centimeters squared, we have 16 centimeters squared. And so, then we can add all these areas and let's see if we get the right answer or similar answer to earlier. So, we have 12 plus 16 plus 12. So, how much is that? So, 12 12 and 16 so 12 for our rectangle and another 12 for the right side rectangle and 16 that is 40 so this is 0 carry 1 40 centimeter squared okay so it's the same answer as our first answer earlier now another way there's another way that you can solve the area of this figure is let me go back so another way is to calculate the area of this big rectangle. Let me draw. 
what we can do is we can calculate the area of this big rectangle here. This big rectangle minus, oops, let me erase that. <laughs> My lines are not straight. Okay, so let me erase. Okay, so what we can do is we can calculate the area of this entire rectangle minus the hollow part, right? So, if we calculate this as if it's a solid rectangle, and then we subtract the area of this small rectangle here, the hollow part, are we going to get the same answer? So, let's try. What's the area of this big rectangle? So, what's our length is? Our length is, let me write, area of this. Oh, I can't. Let me draw. Um, okay, my pen. Okay, so, our area for this big rectangle, the length is 6 and the width is 8. Okay, so 6 cm times 8 cm is equal to 48 centimeters squared and that's the area of everything right of the entire entire rectangle and then we said we're going to subtract the area of the hollow part so let me change color my pen so that you can see so we're going to subtract this hollow part here because this hollow part is also a rectangle right a rectangle with length 4 and width 2 so this part here this hollow part the area of this is area of that small hollow part is 4 times 2 which is 8 centimeters squared so you see what i mean the area of this big rectangle is 48 you subtract this hollow part the area is 8, so the total area of the figure is still 40 centimeters squared. 48 minus 8 cm squared, the area is still 40 centimeters squared. So it doesn't matter, on, it doesn't matter how you divide the original figure. So this is the original figure here. As long as you're careful with your measurements. Okay, so this was the original figure. Just be careful when you're cutting polygons and make sure that you change also the measure of the side that you cut. Okay, so the total area of this figure is 40 centimeter squared.